Good morning guys. So we are off to Spienkop Dam today and uh, you can see behind us we got the boat loaded up and uh, yeah we're gonna see what we can get. Yeah, so first time after a long time we're going so yeah we were checking we're gonna go up the mouth see what we can get and yeah let's hope for the best. Yeah cool Ooh. guys enjoy the video. guys so that's the first fish so we we're planning on going out on the boat this evening for some bobble in the mouth and um, we needed some bait so we carried our carp rods and uh, targeting some smaller carp so this is the first one the rods been in for quite some time now but yeah let's see okay so yeah just uh, lost that one now um, yeah, there was a little bit of stuck. I think there's just a little bit of rocks or something. But yeah, that one got stuck, and then I think as soon as I pulled it through the stuck, then it came off. So yeah, rebate now, put it out. See, hopefully we can get another one or oh, the first one. Hey. Well guys, so uh, I've been fishing now ooh, after a good couple of years, especially on the dam. And uh, yeah, it's my first fish in a very long time. Seems very small, doesn't even fish, feel like there's a fish there. Uh, there's definitely a stuck there. Yeah? Bring the net, bring the net, bring the net, bring the net. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> yes, it's a monster. Ah, hold on. How's that? Yes, 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 what a monster. 
anyway it's gonna bring that monster bubble cool oh. uh, okay guys so this was the first tilapia not a very big one but uh, yeah we're just gonna keep it and release it later at the end of the day okay Okay guys, this is my first take of the day and yo, it actually took off quite strong, took off, it held it quick and then yeah, I dropped it slowly, feels decent, yo, yo, see what, how it looks when it comes back, hey, who? Bait numbers are going up. Wobble, we're coming for them in the afternoon. So let's see how it goes. Okay, guys. So as you can see, we didn't come with our uh, big boxes and uh, stands. Uh, that's because uh, we're actually going with the boat to, to the mouth. So our target is just to catch some, some bait. And we're going to use that bait for the bobble. So... This trip was mainly just for the boat and stuff. So yeah, cool. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, bobble, yes. Yes, yeah, nice small bobble. Caught on a gum tree floaty. Which is a little bit surprising. Yeah, it's a, it's a fish. So um, that small bobble, uh, we're just gonna release it quickly. Oh, other way. Ah, there we go. Go catch some bigger ones. End rod, guys, end rod, end rod. Okay, so you saw now that end rod just took and uh yeah, nice little copper, similar size to the last one. And uh, yeah, we're gonna put it in the keeper just to see how many we can get. And uh, yeah, we'll release it at the end of the day. Okay, cool. There's another lovely size tilapia. Yeah, this is, you can see, uh, yeah, this one here is full of eggs. You can see how big his stomach is. So yeah, we're gonna release this one. This is a real specimen of the fish, so. Nice one, guys. Probably a new PV. That was good. How was that? Yes, sir. A rocket over fish. Yes, sir. Hey, guys. Lovely scaly. Going for bubble bait. Yeah, it looks like bubble uh, on the grounds here, so yeah, and they take you on the floaties. Might switch it up a bit to get the carp again. Ooh. Yeah, hey guys, looks like it was a stuck for a bit there, but I uh, managed to get it out. Small fish. Bet you it's a bubble. Slightly bigger. Still good for carp bait. I mean bubble bait. Came off the hook right here, like in this like ankle deep water. And as as it came off, jumped into the water and I scooped it out. So I got lucky with that one. Let's put it into the keep net. Okay guys, so there yeah, I can say I have reached a tempo because I just cast this rod right now and didn't even lay for that 30 seconds and a fish was already hooked. Yeah, so yeah, so what I'm using is a oozing gum tree floaty, and the bottom hook is a banana floaty. They mainly taking on the gum tree. That's the more the dominant one. And then on the bottom, I'm just using plain just FX, and that seems to be working. Stuck. Yeah, 
it's out of the stock. Uh, let us smoke up. Bubble bait. <laughs> Yo, I think we got enough bubble bait. Uh, slightly bigger than hand size. Okay. Yeah. That was on like a shallow cast. The bigger ones could be deeper. <laughs> Small. Anyway, guys, um, I was having a problem with my bomb. Every time I cast it, it came off. So, yeah, luckily my brother came here and he had a spring. So, <laughs> this is when you're not a professional fisherman, eh? Helps a lot. Oh, cool. One out. There's, there's water there. Yeah. Okay, let's empty that one out. But if oh, can you can you check with the hole? I can't check. Yeah, it's leaking from the, the pipe. So guys, as you would have seen, that um, our boat took on quite a bit of water, and uh, we didn't realize that there was a, a plug, drain plug, that was giving us a bit of a hassle. So there was a slow leak on the hull and um, yeah you can see it took on a lot of water struggle to get onto a plane and uh, yeah we have to get that uh, checked out fish on A small one. Okay, guys, so got a bobble. Yeah, this was the bobble that um, we couldn't catch. We went out of the boat. Unfortunately, got absolutely nothing. We tried for a couple of hours. Um, yeah, it didn't work out. We went right up uh, one of the rivers there yeah, by the mouth. Um, and yeah, so looks like the bubble that we were supposed to catch there uh, coming out here, but much smaller. Let's release it. This was in the Lanny net when Cheval scooped up my bubble. It was a lucky catch. Okay guys, so this is my first one for the evening. And oh okay well. Okay. Anyway, it was slightly better one. But she was 0.8 hooks. And uh Yeah. Anyway. guys first big carp boat this is the biggest carp of the trip so far and yeah it gave a, a slow fight so I thought it was a smaller one but when it came right here it was a biggest one so far and 
Yeah, I was, I was getting lazy, falling asleep, and this woke me up definitely. Here, I put out the base again and see what happens. Okay, guys, so as we jumped into the tent now to sleep, uh, uh, cold because there's a big fish on this spot. So, yeah, yes, it's first felt like it was stuck but it was just sitting so yeah lovely lovely fish see if you land it Okay guys, so there you go, about a 4-5 kilo carp, yes, an absolute giant, after catching those tiny hand sized carp the whole day, yes, this is really a surprise, and uh, yeah, beautiful fish, and uh, we're just about to sleep, so this is a nice wake up, definitely gonna rebate and put it right out now, cool guys. Say something. Okay, guys, another small bubble. Oh, this is the decent one. Okay, morning, guys. It's the next day. And today we're just going to be focusing on the bank angling. Um, yeah, so this is the first run. Doesn't feel very big as it is just causing strengthening the policeman. But yeah, it's the uh, first fish of the day. So let's see what it gets here on the side. Lovely small cup. Yeah, going to keep it and to the collection. Right guys, so as I was uh taking out the other fish, um this one just started rocketing. So ooh, feels quite decent. Another small cup. Looks like a small cup on the bite now, so Let's see how many we can get with them. Let's see if we can get onto a tempo as well. Okay guys, so first round of the morning after I put out five bombs onto a spot. I didn't measure the distance or anything. It just clipped up roughly around 75 to 85 and um, put five bombs out and then yeah this one sat for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. It absolutely took off. So it's much better than those uh, hand-sized carp that we've been catching yesterday this morning. Yeah, it landed. Hopefully, it's like the one I caught last night. Okay, guys. So just lost that one now. I think it uh, had a bad hook set. It was as it was running, ran for a while and then dropped it. Yeah, rebait and try again. Hey guys, so I think I'm gonna get into a tempo now. This is my third fish for this morning. Oh uh, yeah, it feels like another cop. Small one. Hey guys, so that's my first fish of the day. It's a small barbel. But yeah, it's a fish. Uh, yeah, I missed that big carp this morning. And uh, I need to try and get one about that same size now. Rebate, cast out again.
Yeah, so the bites have been quite slow, but yeah, this one was in for about an hour now. So yeah, let's see what it is. Feels small. Yeah, fish is a fish. Okay, guys. So on once again. We had like a good couple hours where it just went very quiet on our side, but it seems like things are picking up again. A few fish came on the on that side. See this one just took off right now. So it looks like it's slowly picking up again. So yeah, let's see how it looks when it comes in. Okay guys, unfortunately that one came off right here. A little smaller one but it's okay. Put it back in and see if we can get another one. So I just put out a, a short rod again now and uh, had a nice run. Feels like a scaly. Yeah, there we go. Small scaly. The, you can see here, it ate both the hooks. And uh, yeah, sure. Guys, first swap of the trip. Small one. Okay guys, so we've come to the end of our trip and I must say, well, all around it was a very good trip. The bank angling, we did very well. Came up with a lot of fish, reached a couple good tempos and landed some really nice slabs. But yeah, caught a lot of small ones as well. Plenty of small ones. And yeah, the boat was a little slow. Didn't expect that, uh, that day, we didn't come out with anything. But yeah, the bank angling paid up for it. So yeah. Yeah, and guys, don't forget to check out our online store, www.superfishsa.co.za. And uh, yeah, we really appreciate everyone who has placed orders. And uh, yeah, if you haven't checked out the site, go and have a look. Cool. Thanks, guys. Cool. Yeah, release. Let's release. Oh. Yeah, two slabs. Okay, cool. Thanks guys. Go on.